Yes, Brad in Detroit, XM Satellite. How may I help you? Yes, Brad in Detroit, XM Satellite. How may I help you? Yeah, Mr. Lynn, how are you tonight? All right, you're still with us. Yeah, I just, just got to ask you, man. How do you sit there in that chair and insult our actually, I'm Actually, I'm standing up, but go right ahead. Come on, can I, how, how, how do I do what? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're a liberal, right? How do you sit there? Do you realize he is our commander-in-chief? Every- oh, excuse me. Well, then I can't say anything to the commander-in-chief, can I? There and say how sick he is? Yes, he's sick. The people feel that voted for him. But unlike you liberals, I didn't call him Hitler, which I believe is what you called George W. Bush, did I? I can't believe you sit there and say all that crap about our commander. Why don't you use your brain and pay attention? Why don't you answer the issues? How is he doing as our commander-in-chief? What's he doing? Have a good day. Answer my question. Ah, get out of here. Oh, no, no, no. You can't say these things about Barack Obama. He's the commander-in-chief. Oh, I see. So, in other words, they're marching in Paris for free speech. But behind this microphone, I have none. Don't say anything about Barack Obama. I've already said Obama is a serious narcissist. He has a psychosis. And I believe this is 100% accurate. I've explained it in great detail. That's a sickness. It absolutely is. And by the way, he's not the only one. He's not the only one. Problem is, he's president. Not even the liberals can explain why he didn't go to Paris. They're all worked up about it. Well, why didn't he go to Paris? He's gutting the Constitution. We don't care. Why didn't he go to Paris? 